Hello and welcome to the Ibrahim Mustafa show. This is Ibrahim Mustafa and today we are going to look at the latest addition to the KDP family. But before that, I want you to know that you can do KDP publishing. Just publish books like uh, low content books, uh, low content books and make money on KDP. And that is like you publish books and they appear on Amazon. So today, if you are already into KDP publishing, you realize that we used to have two type of publishing, which is the Kindle and the paperback. But KDP has given added some addition to the family, which is the hard cover book. So you can see there's hard cover. So we used to have Kindle ebooks, paperback, and today and now they have a better test of the hard cover, which simply means that it's going to be added to the KDP uh, publishing. So this simply means that you get the opportunity to leverage on the same book, the same interior, and you publish, and you, people have different printing options. And I believe that the prices also increase based on the fact that it is hardcover. It is expensive to do, which simply means that you will make money also from that. So let, before we explore that, I just want you to know that this is a business that you can start. No matter where you are, no matter what you do, you can start doing something small about that so let's go into the hardcover and see how different is it from the normal uh, paperback that we used to have and we'll talk about some of the additions and the differences that they have outlined so i'm just trying to so it's pretty the same like the hard uh, the the paperback but you see book title where you put your title mm -hmm. subtitle where you put your subtitle and this the, the two are very important in terms of the fact that you get to be seen when you publish on KDP. So these are like potential keywords, the book title, the subtitle, the edition number, prefix, first name, just pretty the same like the how we publish the paperback, but maybe some differences. You summarize your book. So your description page, and it has 4,000 words, and you have to let them know that whether you owe the uh, copyright or not. Then here, keywords, and uh, you choose the like seven keywords that describe your book and the categories that you get to see. So let's see the categories it's like this. So pretty much it's the same. And you go to the ha uh, hardcover content, which is like publishing, but the interior and the, and the sizes may differ. And you have the hardcover rise and pricing. And I believe that this is just the same if you are already publishing on the paperback, using the paperback version. So let's go and see what they are saying now. What are they saying? And uh, there's a publication about this, like um, hardcover, and that they tell us the differences between paperback and hardcover. And I'm just going to read a little, just as you did for paperback. You create covers, format interior files, choose print and distribution options, order proof and auto copies, and advertise your book. If you have an existing paperback, you will need a unique ISBN to create a hardcover edition of your book. There are minor differences between the two formats, which we've included in the table below. So these are the minor uh, differences that you get to see, or you get to uh, like make changes based on that. So print options. So we, they say that hardcover books have the same print options as paperbacks, with a few exceptions. There are five available print sizes. So if hardcover has five available print sizes, and the, the minimum and maximum page count is 75 to 550 pages. So you can learn more about that. And the manuscript formatting. So there are differences. They are saying that there are differences, different trim size and page count requirements for paperback and hardcover book. If your manuscript fits both requirement, you can upload an interior file with the same measurement for both, both books. So if your man, uh, manuscript is just the same size, just upload it. That's okay. Mm -hmm. And the cover formatting. You will use different cover requirements and measurements to format a cover, a hard cover cover file than you did to format a paperback cover file. Learn how to format a hard cover cover file or use one of our tools. So there's also a difference here. So the way you do your cover, like if you are doing 5.9 or 5 or 6 point, whatever cover size you're doing, you need to know the differences. You need to know that there are differences now. So you can do the cover calculator and template generator and uh, you get to see the differences. On the side of distribution, 
they are saying that you can publish your cover your hardcover book in these marketplaces amazon.com amazon.co.uk amazon.ee that is Denmark, uh, east uh, france italy right so amazon.ca and amazon.com dot com dot au aren't listed as, as primary marketplaces to make your cover hardcover book available in this in those marketplaces you will need to make it available on on, on amazon.com so hardcover isn't available for amazon.co.jp that's japan or expanded distribution so if you are using the amazon.co.jp it is just not there yet but uh, and also expanded distribution where you get to expand to different places and the cost they talk about how to calculate the cost like uh administrative work and reporting to see your hardcover sales just go sign into your kdp click the post like we do from your sales that's what go to all farmers filter by hardcover and uh and yeah these are frequently asked questions that perhaps you may have to be able to what to, you want to ask to the kdp team or staff i also just want you to, to know that there are like simple questions can i turn an existing paperback or ebook into a hardcover so they are saying that uh, yes you can do that you can do that and also that's the opportunity here so if you have an existing hardcover or a paperback you can go and turn that into a hardcover book which simply means that you have more leverage more opportunities to do this and this is like back to the hardcover thing it's an opportunity because once you are publishing you go to your bookshelf you get opportunity to publish more you get opportunity opportunity to reach out to more people so paperback some people love paperback and some people will have like the hardcover we used to see books that like different uh, publishers who have hardcovers they sell more because it's also another addition to your book and what to build your empire so go on publish your hardcover take your time and uh, just like you can see these are my books and i'm also going to turn some of them into hardcovers reach out to more people to reach out to different markets and that's quite great so thank you for your time i believe that you learned something here and uh, watch my next video for me to do kdp and uh, niches my focus is on niches so i do more of niches and i let people know that you can uh, publish more leverage and do more thank you for your time like this video share this video send me your comment if you like it that's okay that's fine go out and do something about it but be mindful of the hardcover and uh, use that option to do more my name is ibrahim mustafa follow me for more i appreciate i love you